quick hurry. Oh, oh, come in, come in, come in, Miss... Uh... Chair Chankoff, but you may call me Natasha. Oh, thank you, Natasha, please have a chair. Yeah, you too, Plow. <sighs> well, Cousin John, I was talking to my boss the other day. You know him. You're real familiar with him. You know, the chicken man? Yeah. Well, he was telling me that I'm supposed to apologize for opening up that can of whoop-ass on you last week at the Sweet Swine Picnic. Oh, ho, ho, hold on there, boy. If anybody was getting their ass whooped, it was you. You were on the receiving end. Well, be that as it may, whatever fantasy world you might be living in, I'm just telling you that it was very unprofessional of me what happened at that picnic. I'm supposed to portray farm safety in this county, and I did a poor job. So let's just agree to disagree, call it a truce. Truce? All right, truce. Okay, great. Uh, well, now, uh, gentlemen, uh, as I was explaining at the picnic, I am writing a book called The American Chicken Farmer, and I asked Elmer if I might speak with you, Mr. Olson. I'd like to pick your brain a little bit about that. Slim Pickens there. Excuse me, Elmer? Oh, I said I gotta go talk to Slim Pickens about his cow here after I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just be on your way. Uh, Natasha and I will try to struggle through without your... Uh professional help. Uh, yes, uh, run along, Elmer. <laughs> Good luck. So, Mr. Olson. Oh, please, please, call me Cousin John. Everybody else does. Oh, very good, Cousin John. You know, I have noticed that you have a vast array of these beautiful Russian collectibles. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I got a pen pal over in Russia, likes to send me things every once in a while. Don't really know why or what for, but there they are. Well, as for my book, um, I was wondering, uh, how far back do your earliest records go? Do you keep those things from the earliest days of your operation? Oh, my mother was a pack rat. She insisted on keeping everything. I've got journals going back 30, 40, 50 years. I, you know, they're, they're packed away over up in the attic, but I'm sure I can round them up if it would help you out on your book. Oh, that would be delightful. It would be very helpful to me. I'll get them then. <laughs> Thank you. Well, 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 John Robert. I have found half the treasure stitched on your girlfriend's garment. Where, oh, where will I find the other half? Buried in one of your chicken coops? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know Johnny had an appointment with you today, Mr. Chenkoff. Oh, Natasha, please, Natasha. Oh, all righty then, uh, you can call me Minnie. Can I help you? Well, my dear Minnie, I must tell you that I have not been able to stop thinking about your garment design. This one? Well, I'm flattered. It is perfect. And in fact, I must have it. It, it is, um, it would be an honor to be your first customer. Oh, but you, you don't want this one. It's my only one, and it's all stretched out, and there's a stain on the sleeve. Oh, no, no, no. It is perfect the way it is. In fact, it is for my brother. I mean, it's for my brother's wife. Uh, she loves everything American, uh, hearts, and, and anything like this. It would be perfect. I must have it. Uh, I don't know. I know. I could go to the craft store. I ran out of bedazzler gems. I could buy some more and I could make a new one for you tonight. For crying out loud, Minnie, what are you still doing here? Quit lollygagging around my office and go check those laying hens from Toledo. Last thing I need is them sending me more Toledo mud hens like they did last time. Crying out loud, if I wasn't able to put that deal together with a trap and skeet club, I would have never got rid of those things. Well, gotta go. I'll uh, be in touch about the t-shirt. I will await your call, my dear Minnie. Natasha, here's the records you needed. Hope that helps you out for your book there. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Cousin John. Oh, my, my, my. Now isn't that an eye-opening revelation? Will Natasha locate the family fortune before Cousin John realizes he has one? I guess we'll find out after the break.